All right. Good afternoon and welcome to the end of day review for today. And today is Monday, June the third, two thousand twenty-four. And it's the very first trading day of um of this month, for that matter. That's right, for this month. Yeah, the very first trading day of this month because the first day is Saturday, and you know Sunday. There's no trading, so it's the very first trading day of of, of this month. And uh, we are in week uh, 23rd, 23 of this year, and we are two weeks away, three weeks away to finish the second quarter of this year. Is that right? Yep, beautiful, yep, wonderful. First quarter and the second quarter is about two weeks oh, week away. And we are with 23 and this week there's no option expiration. However, we're looking for this week is a non firm payroll June 7, which is this uh, June 7. Is that right? Yeah, this is uh, this Friday. So uh, non-farm payroll is a key um, economic event, or yeah, it's a high impact event, impact the markets because it does it set the tone, it sets the the price for the the month for the new month. So let's see how it play out. Wonderfully. So let's see how it it play out. And. Um, we see some pattern related to non-form payroll on the daily time frame. Let's see. Let's see what we have. All right. Let's hear what we have on the daily time frame. When we mark the non-form payroll, we can see a very interesting pattern right there. So the non-form payroll set the tone uh, for the month. You see that? Is for for January. It set the tone right there. It set the price for the month right there. So when the price go retest this uh, level, it just got rejected right there. Let's say we pick this level. Or yeah, this level. We want we have a non-farm payroll retest from up below and then break it. And this go back is just uh, retest that not the level here it's just a retracement but then boom it go up from there the same right here on February and we see the same right here on March but on April uh, the opposite happened on April we see this phenomenon right here Yeah, I think we see this movie before. It's a perfect um, second leg down. You see that? Right here. You see a test from above, break it, reverses. That's it, the other block that we're talking about. Uh, we will show you uh, uh, later, but that's an idea. So basically, um, we see the non farm really. Uh, I could set up. In this case, non-farm is the order block to go short. In this case, is a uh, a uh, you know like a real breakout, right? It's a real breakout to go second let up. Real breakout to go second let up right there. So yeah, that's the non-farm barrel. For April is so up, but then for May, which is uh, last month, is become a uh, real breakout at this level. You see that it's it's just um, right here. It's just a re, uh, reversal from here. So basically, we have tests from above, 
break it and test from below then it uh, reverse so very interesting to see how this Friday is play out for non farm payroll right there it's gonna be June 7 I'm very interesting to see it's June 7 yeah June 7 Yep, that's the non-farm payroll um, profile right there. We provide more um, more uh, analysis when we can uh, we get more data. Uh, but let's really see. Uh, you see this model right there is a perfect for us to do analysis right here. Oh man, we see this. Uh, model everywhere right now so it's a second like that let me move some of the thing right here so we can see things much better but we, we will come back later right we'll come back to this charge later it's a beautiful charge all right let's look at the bright action for today um, we see that it's open right here at 9.30. It's, it's right there. So it starts to sell off. And if we mix right there, we can um, you know, do a trade right here. That's from above twice. So it's going to put a sell stop right here. All this level at that matter. We come in right here. When we see that... Um, Let's look at our first trade. We only do two trades for today. Um, we learned our lesson the last two weeks. We try to reflect to see how we can do better. What lesson we learned? So the lesson we learned is that we need to uh, do not um, over trading. Uh, but the most important lesson we learned that we need to um, just aim for one hour and get out. Uh, the reason that to do that so we can manage our our greed. I think our greed is 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 one of the emotions that really um, give us a hard time because we give back a lot. We can make money. That's that's no doubt. Or we can know how to make money how to take profits, how to engage and get money. But the, the tem temporary failure right now for us, or temporary sit back for it right there, is that we are giving back very easily. And then we trace all our, you know, the mistake, why we give back. Uh, we give back because we, greed, we, we get greedy. We're going to, we want to get more. Uh, so, um, in order to um, mitigate this, uh, you know, greedy, it is a, a it, 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 it is a emotion, right? In order to manage this emotion or you know, mitigate this risk from us, we have to take profits just one hour, and we want to leave a lot of money on the table. So we try to, you know, we sensitize us to, to be greedy. And we have to accept that we're going to leave a lot of money on the table. Because in the past, we, uh, uh, we don't want to give a lot of money in the table. So we just very rush. We go in and, and do a lot of, you know, four trades all together. So we try a new approach uh, for this week. We try to just take this very slow and and um and try to manage our you know greedy right that greedy is 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 one form of of a fear and um you know we read the book like um i think Douglas um what is his name uh trainer Jones and other book basically trade without fear 
So the fear, um, you know, in the markets, they say that two factors that drive human behavior, human emotion is, is, is fear and, and greed. It's so true. And we feel so, so true in us also because we are human. So we inheriting have that uh, flaw, a flaw in our, um, you know, our decision makings. And actually, if we look deep, deeper, we can see that greedy is just a form of, of fear. Because you feel like um, you don't have, you know, the other opportunities. You feel like that's your last opportunity, so you try to chase it. So that's the fear right there, that's a form of fear. So how do you trade without fear? And, and how do we do that? So then we have to identify where our fear come from. And in this case, come from greedy. and and especially when we don't want to leave a lot of money on the table when we see the setup kind of good so we want to let it run we try that and and, and, and that leads us to over trading really full 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 our greedy more we're going to get more money and that's the reason why we take a lot of um, trade that uh, we give back our profit you know the step one no doubt that we can make profits, we can get the money. But the second challenge for us is how do we keep our you know, money, how we keep our profits without giving back. And that is the second step in the equation that we try to work on right now. And, and we will get there. So that's an idea that you know, we're going to leave, the, we're going to test out the second approach that we only take one hour and leave the money on the table in order to defeat or in order to modify our behavior or our emotion for that matter modify or desensitize our greed right there so that's the idea um, okay so our first trade is right here um, we don't trade the whole morning we just have something to run and then when we are uh, get in front of our computer we saw that setup right it not uh it not perfect on the low time frame but high, high time frame on a four um on a four hour actually yeah on a weekly hour uh, in this case so we see that you see that setup test from break and test from above in this case twice then it gonna uh, and then it go down you see it break right there, that level, then it's gonna break that level. How long it gonna stay below that level, we don't know. But we just want to make sure that if we hit our one hour and then we get out, that is our um, you know idea right there. So let's see um, how we uh, actually the trade on the recording. So let's take a look. Yeah, so we're going at uh, 5285 right there. You see that we go in at that level, uh, right there, uh, which is right here, fifty-two eighty-five right there, uh, at this level on the weekly. Um, this one is a one hour, but on a weekly we go in there, there. And at first we just put you know arbitrary at seventy-one. But then we go into the chart with the five, I think it's 78 is the best. 78 right there, it hit 79, 78 right there. Yes, when we refine we that, and we think to ourselves, yes, just take one hour. So with the 300 right there, it's more than one hour. So it, it hit 78 right there. We redefine the target with a 78 is good. So we get out all over there. It's, you know, two. 250 is, is one hour right there, so we got yeah, more than one hour right there, so we get out. Just one, one contract, one side right there. So yeah, at this 11, is that we get out at 11? Let's see. Uh, yeah, we got 11.02. Uh, yes, 11.02, which is the second uh, right here, the second candle right there. Yeah, this candle. So 
five on five point. I mean, what could have been better than that, right? Five point. So yeah, we get um, our one R. We're happy. And then um, we sit for a while. We come back and we saw this pattern right here. It's beautiful. It's the first time we see this kind of reversal. Normally, you wanted to retest from below, uh, but in this case, it did not. It just uh, break and then it reversed. It did test from above twice. So the, lo the logic is that, all right, so you test from this level twice or from above twice. You break it, so why you come back to the level? The only you come back to the level in order to reverse it, to break it, to reverse it. So that's an idea right there. And also we see the move right here. We know that the uh, this is the first leg down, and then you have retracement and second leg down. So basically you have uh, uh, two leg down complete. Then it keep a very high probability that it can reverse from here. And look at the time also. It's around you know uh, one p.m. So it's time for reversal right there. So basically, they uh, trap a lot, they build up a lot of buy sell liquidity after you know four hour, three and a half hour of trading. Then they're gonna go and wrap all that. Uh, the the algo gonna wrap all that uh, buy sell liquidity. So it very high quality setup right there. Yeah, that's our and that's our second trade. Let's take a look uh, at the second trade and and. Here our screen saw at that moment. So yeah, we go in way there. So we put a uh, um, not exactly at the level. We come in a little bit late. So uh, we uh, not at exactly fifty two thousand, uh, but the buy stop right there. If we act, we we execute correctly, it should be a buy stop right there. Uh, but we we like what the uh, recording you can see that uh, we come in a little bit late so let's see. yeah and we also see that you you see the sell seller query were were rate one two three time in the row you don't see it here it's a great one time so you know that the sell off is 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 hit the bottom it gonna reverse. That's, that's, that's our assumption right there. That's our observation. In this case, uh, market reward, reward right there. And uh, we target very, um, uh, very, uh, very conservative. We target only a level 52, 66. Uh, but if we let it run, uh, we can have huge profits. But like we say before, we want to test out our new approach, all right? We, took, we want to figure out ourselves right now, all right? Because we have to find a way to mitigate, mitigate or manage our greed. And one of the best way, the best way for to do, you know, right now, is to leave the money on the table. So leave the money on the table and come back next day. Next day, the market will give us. Uh, more, so you so we don't act like we um, we rush. We don't act like uh, you know fear of missing out. So so that's our approach right there. But for this, the right target is right here, hit the two uh, thirty three. It did hit that um, right there. It hit that at a uh, one thirty bm. It hit that target right there. We know that it can hit that. You know why? Because if you look on the four hour time frame, you see that level right there. It's so beautiful, it's like a picture, a perfect picture. You see that? It break the level with fellow gap. You see that? And then it's retest from below again and then break it down. And then boom. You see that? It break it back. And now it's break it. You see that? It break the level. And now it's gonna reverse. It's gonna retest that level. So that's in the key level, and and, and we, it, it, it gonna break it, but we stick with the fifty two six six because that's where we get just our one arm get out. I think look in fifty two sixty six. 
5266, I think it come from the 15 minutes. It did not come from high time frame. Actually, it come from, yeah, this level. That's amazing level. Yeah, this level. Um, the 930, I think it, it um, I think it's the GDP data come out and it break that level. And, and we put level in and exactly uh, uh, where we just am our targets very shortly there. Yep. A little look at the recording um, for the tray. All right, here's our recording for the tray. So we go in, we see that there, right? It's break that level at, uh, hold on, at what level again? Yeah, it's break level at 52.57. 52.57, right? 52.57. Yes, so we put our um, our buy stop right there, and we get a uh, few right away, and ha we have to adjust our targets, and yeah, we we'll adjust about sixty six right there. And then we put um, after. After a minute to the 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 trade, we move our uh, stop lot to break even, just to protect ourselves uh, from the outside, and boom, that's it. You know, that's it. We leave a lot of money in the table, but uh, by the way, <laughs> um, we accidentally, you know, we just want to do one contract side for today. You know, Monday go easy, um, but somehow we accidentally hit, you know, five R rate a uh, five five contracts so but anyway that's reason why the profit is, is ten and five times bigger but anyway so you know that's in terms of money but in terms of ratio it's just one r right one r which is five point right there so the first way we got five r, five r which you know 250 in this case a second try we also get five r but in this case is 10 contracts so it's about you know, 2,500 uh, right there. Yep, that's our second trade right there. But if you let it run, uh, it can, it, 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 it's, it's what a huge profit for us. But like, like, uh, as, like uh, we say before, uh, we want uh, to leave money on the table so we don't feel greedy. Because every day market provides opportunities, so we don't need to be greedy, we don't need to be formal, we don't need to take a lot of risk trade, just wait for opportunities to show up on our lap. You know, that's... Um, that is the remedy we have for ourselves right there. Yeah, you see that? It will let it run, wow, it's giant, and go back to... Um, to the 930 almost yeah this low right there well if like we don't that's how much we make but we need to um you know control that emotion because we see you know we observe ourselves for the past couple of weeks like eight seven weeks we saw that you know we make a huge money make a huge home run and 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 when we do that it's you know, like the other day we make at one instant, we make um, two, three R, and with five contract or ten contract, we make eight thousand dollar right there. And when we see the money, that our our my our body, our brain really uh, the emotion right there is really the you know it release a lot of dolphin in our mind right there, and the dolphin really. Dopamine, uh, that's what we mean. We mix both dopamine. It's like feeling good right there, and we chase, we chase that feeling, and and that's how we observe and we say, wow, that's so powerful, and and we have no clue that that's how is drive our decision to over trading, and 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 completely blindside us, 
and then we have no uh, control and then we go down the road that we get back all out again and, and get lost, uh, get a big loss and get our account, you know, blow up. <laughs> and everyone go through that, you know, process and we are, in, you know, in a in the process, go to that process, and and and, and that's how you know we learn. We have to go to all that, and we have to be learn to uh, you know take a pain, and the pain can the pain we feel today will be strength for you know for tomorrow. We have to go through that, so we learn how to uh, manage ourselves right there. Yeah, we have to control the greedy because greedy. You know, the brain flush our system, our blood with too much dopamine. And the dopamine, it really blinds us or clouds our judgment when we chew the trace. So um, we have to reduce us. So from now on, if we, after a big win or big loss, for that matter, we have to stop trading for uh, one or two days. In order for our body to recess, otherwise uh, our system floods with you know um, full of dopamine or full of uh, cortisol, right? There. If we get lost, we get a lot of cortisol. If we feel stress, then um, if we get wing, we get so excited, and and the dopamine is 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 so high in our system, and it really clouds uh, in our decision. The same with Cortisone. When we lost, we get stressful. We fear the cortisol in our body's level is is out whack, and we make a lot of des desperate trade try to get regain the loss, and that is the recipe for disaster right there. The same for you know when we win. So that's the reason why we have to find a way to recess ourselves. After a big win, a big, big loss, we have to reduce the size and, 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 and take it easy or easy to refresh ourselves. And that is exactly what we do for today. We, uh, we manage ourselves good. We just only take two trays, go easy, and take exactly one hour and get out and leave a lot of money in the table. Did that. We did that. Yeah. For the short trade day there, if we stay long, we still have, I mean, stay short, we still have a huge, you know, potential gain right there. When we go in right here, uh, we short them. You remember we short at a level, uh, but we take out uh, just one R. But if we stay there, there we still make, um, you know, huge money. Right? Because we want to, because this one's still in our stop loss. Maybe, yeah, we want to reach about. Three point to get five point. That's our idea. Our risk reward ratio right there. All right, that's the two tray we take for today review. We want to show something real quick. We do um, see the pattern, right? So trade is very simple, but it's not easy. So we, our goal is to keep as simple as possible. So right now we're working on a model that for breakout or real breakout, you know, when price hit a level, that two po only two possibility, it's gonna be a real breakout at light level or gonna be four breakout at level. Very simple. There's no way around that. Then we have to add another scenario contact in there, so that level is that. What where the price is is come from? We have to add one more contact into that model to make it more concise, more precise, or more more accurate, more concise. So if the price is gonna be basically what is the trend? If the trend is go down, then that level gonna be a second leg down or second leg up, or it already complete the second leg out and leg up, it's gonna be reversal. So we have to add the contact in there. So we need two pieces of the puzzle in order to have a completely uh, set up for us right there. So let let you know um, reiterate what we are talking right here. So make sure we are on the uh, same page.
so basically um, we want the first yeah, build a model right? uh, is it four breakout or three breakout because whenever the bride tap a level when the bride tap or touches Um, I'll say run through or run or it's a hit a level let go if because we are you know if then what we have two scenarios right it will break that level basically right now we try to um, seek clarity so we will reduce the confusion we want to re separate the noise from the signal so we're gonna take a very high set of Trade instead of stick up a very low quality trade, which is the noise right there. So that's the purpose right there. Separate um, the noise, you know, separate the noise from the signal. So the signal is going to be high quality set up and the noise or the confusion right? confusion which is a very low if we confuse we're not sure then don't take a trade low quality Try set up basically uh, that is mean that we are seeking clarity from the markets. See clarity on it. If the market don't provide clarity, so don't, don't don't engage. So there's two, two you know. There are two um, scenario. If then, right? If then, If the price hit in level or top level, then the two scenarios kind of it break that level. Now go with it will uh, uh, it will, this scenario is much better. Uh, okay, let's assume that it it will not break. Most of the time, it will not. And that means they say 80% it will not break that level. It's just a full breakout. It will not break level. In this case, it's a what? It's called full breakout. People say, you know, there's no uh, official statistics, but the common, uh, common belief or common assumption, assumption right there that 80% of the time the price just create a full breakout. That's how the algo is it were programmed. The second scenario is that it will break that level. It will break that level. So it's gonna be pre break out. All right, that's beautiful right there, and they say it's, you know twenty percent. Hmm. Yeah, it depends. But let's remove this for now. Remove this number for now. Other way, a little bit confusion. So we want is to break that level. 
then this go into a so-called um, trend follower right because the trend is a tablet let's say it's the Dow trend then it can break that Dow trend uh, it's gonna be a uh, basically gonna be a second second uh, leg of expansion I think that's that's that SEC keyword second leg of expansion and um, Second expansion in this case can be a up or down. All right, second leg up or down. Let's make it more precise than that. And in this case, it's a four breakout, then you're gonna be a reversal. So we just want to go back to the the ICT uh, bribe delivery model all right we just want to re revisit this you know theory right there bright zero so you have expansion and then you have retracement retracement then you have a second if the retracement not turn to either retracement gonna be what it's gonna be turned to reversal or it's gonna create a second leg down or second leg up which is a it's not a expansion right there. It will not go to what? It will not. The retracement never come back to consolidation, which is in this case very accurate right there. Because there's nothing for it to, um, to consolidate in this case. So that's the idea right there. So right there. So it tends to reversal break level which is um, a retracement in this case it's a retracement right there in this case it's a uh, also retracement right retracement model right there retracement Basically, I have two scenarios, reversal or retracement. It break that level, yeah, maybe um, make it uh, do like this. Okay, it break that level. Let's go with that. So, break the level, it continue, you know, break level, continue the trend, right? That is a retracement trade. Continue to trace the join. And the all up is will not break that. So it continue the trend. Uh, retracement and trend continuation. Yes, yeah, so go back here. You have expansion and then you have retracement. Retracement gonna make a second, a second retrac retracement, right? A second expansion. So it go back here. Yeah, it go back here. Expansion, and then from there it can go to reversal. Exactly, go to reversal. And after reversal, it can come back to consolidation. But retracement never come back to uh, consolidation. Yep. So, so basically, we want to break our scenario in two things: is it trend continuation and reversal? So that we put the contact in there. At level, you have, you know, at one product level has two scenarios. You're gonna break it. If it, how do you break it? If the if, if the trend already established, then it break that which create a second expansion. If it not break it, then it can be four breakout and gonna be reversal. 
that's it that is the clarity that we try to see okay now look at the scenario that we saw today over here that is a reversal you see expansion one expansion leg second expansion leg so it's down move this is a retracement so this is the first scenario that we're talking about right here so the downtrend is established right there you see the downtrend right there displacement that, that's the downtrend a sacrifice and this is just retracement before it make a second leg down which is so if we trade right here we are follow the trend that's it we just follow the trend and they say that if we follow the trend the um the successful rate or the win rate is much higher than reversal that's that that's what they they say but anyway for our purpose uh, we should not bring that up because it's really uh, make us a little bit confused right there maybe later in another context not a topic but we see this reversal happen today so let's go into a couple of um charts that we document that so we can um, we can uh, codify or refine the logic right there so basically we're looking for a first scenario where is continuation right here where is the second leg down we want to see the setup we want to see the second leg down is that right here and today we'll learn a new type of second leg down uh, which is right there let's see where is our uh, give it, uh, mm. all right let's see the type one of uh, second leg down all right so here the second leg down we have we have two assembly right there. So this is uh, happened April twenty third, which is uh, that last week, April not May twenty third, May twenty third. Where is May twenty third? Let's take a look. Let look at our calendar. May twenty third. So is two weeks ago. Uh, it's the Thursday on a Thursday so we see that let pick the level we see what we see the retest or test from above for that matter then we see it's break that level and then after the break level what happened it reversed back right away and that is the order block right there in this case it's bearish order block uh, so and we ended today with the minus size then for bearish right there that is the ICC order block right there we used to talk that you know every you know every every down close or you know or up close candle is auto block but in this case it is exactly the auto block right there where the smart money put put the auto right there to sell it but exactly and then it break it breaks huge right there you see that that is a type one of um of second leg down basically you have test above break the level right that's the break right there it is a real breakout yes that's the real breakout which real breakout level because when it break it reverse that's where you know it trap it trip a lot of people and and ourselves too we used to get trip right here we thought oh man it's gonna rally it's reversal right here it's gonna rally no it's a second leg down is uh, you know in the blade right there we use very good and one more thing we see that you know when it's a second leg down it doesn't have a buy sell liquidity rate you don't see that it not rate this buy sell liquidity but if um the first leg down before breakout you see it rate the sell side that is one of the the signature or the fingerprint that i will that i will leave right there so we have to be um pay attention to that right there 
That's beautiful uh, annotation right there. The same right here. This time is um, May, the day before, May 22nd, which is Wednesday. The same idea. Is that it tests from above or retests from above. In this case, it's twice, two times. And then it break it. And then it reverse. That is the auto block right there. Put all your money in and ready for a huge, huge run. Second leg down right there. Boom. Yes, second leg down. And that is the type one we see. Now look at the type two we saw today. Type is it is today. Today the second leg down is what? So basically you have tests from above, but you don't have the break. You have another test. And then you have another test. It's very strange. But you don't have this. The last test doesn't do any uh, cell cell quiz sweep like that. That means you, you see that it's going to set up the people who go long. And why it tests four times? So why it come back here? It's only come back here in order to break it. So it breaks that level. So we put a cell stop right there at 5281. This is the type 2 that we, we saw so far. The two type right there. The most common one is the one that the type one we saw so far. Let's see another right here. It's a second leg down. Yes, you see the signal right there? Very, very um, type one right there. So you see right there? Test from above, break it, right? Exactly. Yeah, right there. And this one you have three tests also. Actually not three tests, it break a level right there. So you put a buy stop right there. And then break it. Yeah, this level is not three tests. I think um, we should revisit this one a little bit. Uh, with a um, revisit this to uh, make sure it match with um, um, with the type one right there. Basically you have right here, right? The type Type one right there. Yes, test from above or retest from above. Break it, reverse. That's the four. Um, you know, break right there. Exactly this level. You see that? That is typical. Um, typical what? Typical second leg down. Right there. All right. All right. That's the thing we want to bring to our attention right there about you know. Uh, above um, trend follower but you retracement second leg down or second leg up now let's look at the second leg so here's the second leg up it it the same it the same step but it back it in the reverse so it tests from below and then it break it and you see that it reverses and then there you go. That is your order block right there. That's all you block. But in this case, a bullish order block right there. Yes. Yeah, so the reverse is always the order block right there. Not exactly ICC name in order block right there. That put all our money in right there. And we have a hero run. 3R right there. More than 15 bond. It's like 4R right there. That is the second leg up right there. The second leg up is similar like um, like a second leg down. You see that? Exactly. But just in reverse order. Uh, you see that? Oh, oh what happened? Uh, where is... Oh, uh, do we do something wrong? <laughs> Why is this beer? Ah, oh, hold on. Let us see. Okay, so right here. All right. So let's do it side by side. You see that? This guy tests from above. This guy tests from below, and then break that level. So it's gonna be pre breakout, and this is gonna be pre breakout to the outside. It's going to be pre-breakout to the upside. It break that, 
and then reverse back right away. Reverse back right away. Close below that level. This guy reverse back right away, close above the level. So the reverse step is the order block for smart money going and put, you know, execute the order right there. Exactly happened. You see that? And after that, boom, second expansion move. In this case, down move, in this case, up move. So the algo give livers a very precise fingerprint right there. So now from now on, just follow this setup. We're gonna retire early. <laughs> we can make all money we want. We don't need to be to be greedy. Just take one on and get out. We don't need to be greedy. That's it. We have to manage emotion. That's it. We already figure out. We hack the code now. <laughs> Figure out the algorithm now. Okay, so we cover um, this scenario, right? Like, leg like down, leg like up. And now we cover the reversal. Let's see the reversal. And then we can finish our re review uh, for today. And let's look at the reversal. All right, the reversal, we also have two types of reversal. The very standard one is right here. You break the level, you test from below, and then here we go. The more you test flow below, the better. That is the very uh, type one right there. Type one, you know, reversal. Beautiful right there. And then we have the second one is the type two reversal, which is we saw today. Uh, is that this one? Reversal. Uh, I think it's from second leg down. Mm, the, the one we already told the, is the second leg down. The type 2 is this one, which is today. Yeah. Type 2 is right here. So basically, you test above twice, and then what? You break the level then it reverses back right away. So that's reversal right there. So we put a buy stop right there. That's the trade we execute today. So we test from above twice, break it. There's no reason for the algo to go back to the level. The only reason the price go back to the level is in order to reverse it. And we see the contact right here. The down move is complete after two leg down. I mean, we can make three leg down, but in this case, two leg down is good. Uh, give a, a high quality right there. So we put a note right here. Two leg down complete. Sell sell liquidity rate three times. You see that? One after this level. One, two, three times. And then we have a time alignment factor right there. You know, at 1 p.m. Sec second candle for the four hour. Then we have a lot of, you know, uh, thing that in play that favor this reversal. And we just um 3R right there. You have 3R, 15 point. So basically, we we have it. So basically, today we, we cover very critical. So when it break, a lot, it price is at level, only these two scenarios happen. And we cover all the scenarios. So from now on, we just collect what? We collect the, the data point to approve it. To bring to prove our edge right there uh, stat statistically then uh, we have an edge an S, and then uh, you know from there we can peel our system right there can extract the edge from markets right there Ooh. okay so basically um, we will you know collect uh, you know, data every day, uh, every day to um, codify this setup to be an X H for our. Trading system right there. That's this, you know. Every day, that's this. 
All right, that is our frame group. Right there. All right, thank you for time and intrigue. We always appreciate this opportunity. Um, we are grateful for this, and we do what we love, then our success comes into our way. No doubt about it. Bye for now. Have a great evening, and talk to you uh, tomorrow.